Here is the Mueller Tower. It is the old control tower for the airport that used to be here. Uh, as you can see, it's no longer in an airport. It's been used to develop the area for, uh, or at least the land has, been used to develop a nice, uh, nice community area. So now we have the uh, Austin International Airport. And this is no longer really necessary, so I think it was a really good investment of, uh, of land. So another nice feature about the Mueller area is all the bike lanes. The idea of this area is to be very walkable and very easy for people to walk around and not have to worry about potentially being run over by vehicles. So uh, there's a nice median between the road where vehicles drive and bikes would normally be. So very nice uh, infrastructure for biking and transportation also. Hey. So with a lot of urban development, suburban development, you might find that lots this size would be used for maybe one house, maximum two. But with the Mueller development area, they're doing these townhomes that are doing pretty well for sustainability. And then one third of the residences in this area will be affordable housing. Although Mueller's doing a lot for sustainability, and fantastic example of what could be for urban development. We have a few examples of homes that are single-family dwelling that are on relatively large lots compared to previously uh, viewed plots. However, uh, the lot size is still very small for how big of the house it is. Uh... Look! I'm not getting run over! The majority of the developments here in the Mueller area uh, have very small plots uh, that don't have a lot of grass on them, but they do have uh, you know, plants, something that can absorb water in the event that it rains and prevent erosion. And with not so much grass, they don't really have to put so much water towards keeping the grass green like you would normally see in the suburban area. Uh, even the alleyways are very full of, full of plants. Uh, the stones, I'm sure, contribute to drainage. Uh, it's, I'm sure this is by design. Some, some very nice features. Um, Dude, there's residences there and there, but there's still some green spaces. Well, it would be green if it wasn't winter. Uh, but it's still pretty nice. I think this is what Ebenezer Howard was really looking for. You know, just green spaces wherever we can find them. A nice feature of the Mueller area is uh, all these nice little shops in really, really close proximity to all these residential areas. We've got, uh, I don't know what most of these shops are, but I mean, there's a dentist right across the street, there's a child care place here. It really contributes to this idea of the 20-minute uh, the city. Everything's within walking distance of where you live. Uh, you can walk places, you can bike places. And in the middle of all of these uh, businesses is another green space. And right now there's kids playing there. It's a very, very nice area. It really, I think, exemplifies what we talk about in class with what modern green cities should look like. What should they have? 20-minute amenities. I think it's got it. Do you think if I work here they'll let me live in the attic and I can still be in this area? I really like it. This park is pretty cool. Like, just look at that little circle. That so many community things can happen there. Concerts, theater in the round. I'm not sure. I'm sure the residents will find out. And back there, I'm guessing that's maybe the old hangar that they're repurposing for community. I'm not too sure. It's gated off. I'm excited to see what they'll do with it. But just look at this park. Look at that water. There's ducks over there. Some important biodiversity. A little park for the kids to play in. It's just a really cool area and I'm really digging it.
now is the Thinker, the Meredith Learning Lab. Uh, don't know a whole lot about it, but I'm assuming that it's a place where, almost like a children's museum, you take your kids in, they go to learn about natural sciences and what have you. It's like a very neat, futuristic learning type place. Uh, I really think this is a city of the future right here. These, uh, these green walls, green fences, pretty amazing, very nice feature to all of this. I mean, I'm kind of amazed. Dude, look, they're growing vines. That's so cool. <laughs> this is green. So there's still a lot of open areas around here for development. Like that lot, and a couple places businesses could take. But it's already going to be pretty busy, and it's going to be popping off on Friday. So, something cool about this area is I'm assuming a lot of people that live here are kind of environmentally oriented or they are considerate of it. And for that reason, we see here uh, some of these people have uh, composts, uh, bins in the back of their houses. Uh, there's one here, one a little further down the way. Really more than I would think you'd see in a regular suburb, which is, uh, is very nice, very nice to see in this area. So. Am I getting run over in the bike lane? I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah.